<laughs> Here we go. Who do we got? <sighs> you know who this is. <laughs> Fentel. Yep. We got some Fentel going on here. Yo! <laughs> Let's see what we got here. How many of you guys heard a band called Protest the Hero? Well, if you haven't, you're definitely going to hear about it now. One of my favorite bands to listen to on the Decomposer Lounge, for sure. Um, and they're progressive, and they really throw in everything in the kitchen sink and their works, their energy and everything. So we're going to do some Protest the Hero here from Fentel. Thank you so much for playing with the Wheel of Cheese. There we go. Already, right there. Just hit me with the elbow, right there. freaking extraordinary about this is that oh, we already know they're protest the hero they're not going to leave us anything less than slack jawed listening to this but this particular piece um the the complexity between the guitar arrangements is so outstanding you know you've got more of this kind of um power chord-esque playing that's going on with its own incredible rhythm uh, patterns and changes and then on the other guitar you're having this within the key structure riff note playing you know it's still like let's say it's still in a particular chord but what they're choosing to do to, to maintain and power through this is just mind-numbing rhythmically in arrangement, in arrangement wise and then on top of it let's not forget about the just insane melody that the singer is singing it's just this is just otherworldly Sneaky background vocals there that are doing some unique shit. Ooh, the stereo imaging on that voice.
the lead singer's voice too is just galactic. Oh, they didn't do it that time. Background vocals, jeez. Of course they got to land on a cord like that just to throw us off for the rest of the day. Jesus. I can't, you know, I can't say anything more than what I had said earlier about the extraordinary, you know, musicianship and composition styles that these guys go after every time. And, you know, there's a, quite a few people that kind of chimed in and, and said, you know, they're not that big necessarily on metal and stuff like that. Um, but there is a lot there, not a lot, ugh. There's, there, there is a sliver of protest the hero style bands out there that take metal to that level where if you were to lay back on the playing, change the kit, tone down the guitars and stuff like that, you have a very jazz proggy fusion band, you know, except in this case, it's everything's on 11. I mean, you know, the guitars are driven up and the vocals are completely, you know, destructive in a, in a tonal power and, you know, in a, an incredible way, but... Protest the Hero is just one of those bands I want to listen to. It's like I kind of stop being the decomposer because I just have to listen to it. I can't, there's not, I'd, I'd have to stop every five seconds to go, oh, and then, oh, uh, and I'm just not going to do that because then it takes away the, the whole vibe for both of us, you and me. But I could just sit here and just go, fa na la ma fa la ma la sha la. Oh, that was a great listen. Okay, next up, we got more Wheel of Cheese coming. Let's go.